In today's episode of Coaster Spotlight, we're going to be looking at an Intamin multi launch roller coaster featuring 135 feet of or 41 meter top hat stall and five inversions, complete with an external shopping plaza, gift shop, and more. This is no ordinary coaster spotlight either, as this coaster is almost 1400 meters in length. That is a 1.4 kilometer track length. So gonna be an absolute masterclass Intamin launch coaster here in today's episode. Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. In today's episode, we're gonna be looking at Rayma, created by Chet B, a golden patron and an advanced builder in this community. And here they say pretty much what I gave out in the introduction. Rayma is an intimate launch coaster featuring five inversions, top hat stall, complete with external shops, shopping plaza, gift shop, and more. Rayma's area is sure to bring thrills and fun to your party. Best time to view and ride Rayma is anywhere between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. The park also has a full nighttime lighting, so have at it. And uh, they put a note in here too. They say, I implore you to use the guest POV Tejid cam while viewing the park. There is an employee pre-named near the spawn point for convenience. Enjoy. Very nice to provide that for me. However, Tejid cam has this really slow or extremely fast pace. We'll take a look at it in game. And we'll have a little bit more of a discussion around that but some people already make the comment that i move too quickly and tejid cam is actually a sped up uh, camera to that of which i'm already using in the game so i think we'll try it out here today and then i'll get your guys's feedback for future episodes if it's something you enjoyed or not let me know down in the comments okay without further ado let's get into the episode hey it's me chief beef welcome everyone to rayma the intimate multi-launch coaster here we are with the chief of beef so just a little uh quick discussion before we start walking around the park this is my base camera speed in planet coaster this is generally what i walk around at and generally if i have a, like a very long distance to go i will hold the shift button to speed up and then i'll slow down when i get to the to the location but generally i try to walk around at this height at this speed and then i'm like okay i want to go down here and then i put on the brakes and start walking again. Uh, I know some people uh, get annoyed by the fact that I speed up like that at times. And it's been a bit very difficult balancing act because you have very slow, which if we're walking around a massive, you know, four kilometer square kilometer park, uh, it could take two to three hours walking around at this speed alone. So sometimes I got to speed things up. Now, Tejid Cam, if you name a guest Tejid Cam, like we have here, and then we hit enter, <laughs> it makes that funny sound so you know that it worked. And now we're actually walking around at the guest POV. I cannot actually fly my camera upward like I normally do. In fact, I can uh, look in all directions while walking around. This is helpful because I could like look up at the coaster while walking. I, I mean, I tend to do that anyways if I'm strafing, but I can move forward while looking up instead of flying in this direction. There's some interesting aspects to the camera that are good. Now, the actual speed of walking around is somewhere in between me holding the shift key with the camera and not. So this is actually like pretty fast always, you know, and, and I, I know I hear some complaints about people saying that I move too quickly. Well, this is what you're going to get with Tejid Cam. I feel like I'm at a full sprint all the time. Now, if you hold the shift key with this, it does the inverse rather than speeding things up. It slows things down. But look at how slow it slows things down. I mean, this is a near crawl like this is almost not even moving at all. Like if I'm, I just move forward, this is the, the speed of which we would explore the park. Now, obviously that's not gonna cut it. That's gonna put people to sleep. Um, it's definitely not the best option. So with the Tejid Cam, we're just gonna be hauling ass through stuff. And then when I wanna take a closer look at stuff, I hold shift to effectively 
stop the camera entirely. And this is why I've always come to the decision that I don't really like Tejid Cam because what you are gonna get is me jerking the camera a lot because I want to move over here and stop, but I'm doing that at a very, very rapid pace. Um, uh, everything is just a little bit more sped up. But the nice thing is we have this immersive, you know, I'm, I'm always gonna be at eye level, always. I've been pretty good at keeping the camera at eye level throughout the years, but um, yeah, I, I, I've tried to play around with the settings and the. Uh, I, I don't think there's really a solution. The only thing I could think of is plugging in an Xbox controller, but um, it doesn't dynamically switch between PC and Xbox controller. Like I can't just pick up my Xbox controller and start moving around. And that seems to be also problematic because I don't know how to play the game with a controller, nor would I recommend it. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts about Tejid Cam down below. Um, do you like this or do you prefer my my previous way of controlling things? If you're fine with the speed of Tejid Cam, as long as I stop once in a while, uh, we could definitely explore this in the future. And uh, this creator, Chet B, also has a park in the inbox that we will probably be looking at in the near future. And they would like us to explore that whole park in Tejid Cam as well. So maybe it's not um, as realized in this Coaster Spotlight episode. And maybe you guys will get a better feel for the, how the Tejid Cam works. Um, moment to moment in an actual park setting when we go do that. But I feel like this coaster has a bit of a park layout. It's definitely like a, a, ver a vertical slice out of a theme park. We have a surrounding area. We have a lot of details here and, and that sort of thing. So I think it does simulate how the Tejid Cam could play. I think where people might actually uh, enjoy this Tejid Cam is when uh, the fact that we're always at a consistent eye level. Now, like I said, I've been pretty good at like flying my camera around at a guest height throughout the years to a point where nobody's actually really commented on the fact that I'm not using Tejid Cam. Nice little gift shop here. So yeah, I, as I've been kind of rambling about that stuff, I've given a pretty good tour around the surrounding area of the park. I'm assuming that's the exit there, maybe and uh, it, it takes you out into the gift shop. And then we head on out here. So we'll go head back around to the actual queue, uh, taking a look at things at nighttime. And then we'll get on this 1.4 kilometer Intamin multi-launch coaster. I uh, also love the little TMTK bits of realism here for the, the queue and all that, um, and the tickets for the park. Um, it's it, these little extra bits and doodads that you get are definitely um, a nice uh, uh, way to elevate your coaster creation. And if you did not know, all of these assets here, all these kind of like temple theme pieces, they also seem to be team theme maker toolkit. So I wouldn't recommend you building a park out of these. Uh... Yeah, see, this is where I'm like, I don't like Teju Cam because uh, I can't walk through the queue at full speed like this. And this just feels too slow. And this is where it's like, oh man, the, the regular camera has a perfect speed. I'll have to go into the settings and see if I can adjust these numbers, but I'm pretty sure I've tested this and it, it's been difficult. Let me see here. And I have my key sensitivity at the absolute lowest. <laughs> so we're moving that fast. It goes even faster. So I know people have complained about me moving too fast and that's why I've put my key sensitivity at the absolute lowest and it's still too fast for people. So yeah, I don't really know how we can make an improvement here. So here we are in the queue and I'm not using Tejid Cam and this is generally is how at the speed of which I walk through the queues and I definitely, whoop, I'm getting mixed up here. I definitely feel like this is um, a much better speed overall. It's a perfect in-between. And this is at absolute zero sensitivity. Would you imagine that? Or negative 10. Okay, so we have finally arrived at the uh, 
coaster here. It's looking absolutely fantastic. 1,300 meters in length, as mentioned, 62 miles per hour. 38 meters is the biggest drop. 10 airtime counts, 4 seconds of airtime, and 6 inversions on this bad boy. The in-game coaster, if you're wondering, is the Typhoon Infinite. And uh, there's the name of the coaster there. Let's uh, start off with nighttime because we're already at nighttime and give it a look in seat view. Wow, a freaking wee does that have a lot of coaster elements in there. Absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of ambience, some background music. I don't know what's good here. Maybe we'll do Ride the Storm. And uh, we're going to switch it over to daytime. They said three, anytime between three and nine. It's set to 3 p.m. So I guess we'll check it out at 3 p.m. Um, the coaster launches out a little dramatically because it's sitting here at the launch. And I wasn't really sure when it was going to launch. Uh, but we're, I'll, I'll sit here and wait for it so that we don't shoot out too quickly uh, but why don't we take a look at it in track view so we can really experience that 1.4 kilometers of track at the eye level Absolutely smooth and masterclass coaster design on this one here today by Chet B. 
and a phenomenal coaster layout and area. This is definitely a slice out of a park. In fact, out of curiosity, if we look at our mini park contest one, it's actually smaller than this entire coaster. And our mini park contest two fits the coaster almost exactly in there. There it is. That is actually quite incredible how well that fits in there. Oh my god, just a little beach area there. You could have a little pier here with a, a ferris wheel and a couple things and boom There's your mini park contest submission. Oh my freaking god um, And that's actually kind of what I expected to see when we did those mini park contests I expected people to have like one big sprawling coaster and then you know uh, Have something that takes you around the whole park. You have all that space to work with Why not take up majority of it with one epically long coaster? And that is exactly what this creator has done here today. And I also really love the aesthetics we have a lot of the color pops with the green and the purple um i really like that contrast there and i like what you did with this multi-level kind of uh organic and wavy uh tiers to the garden work here uh it just makes for a much more interesting layout overall and then you have these like little pools down below and little bridges and uh, path work to go in between it all i mean this is exactly what i like to see from a coaster spotlight and it's submitted obviously as a park file because there's tens of thousands of pieces here and theme maker toolkit tons of realism with all the venting and all that in the shopping areas here with uh theme maker toolkit gift shops and all of that yeah it feels like a, a almost like a fully fledged little mini park area with just the big giant coaster being the centerpiece and this is what i'd like to see you guys please do send in more creations like this park file coaster blueprints with a big long coaster and lots of area that we can explore and i'd also like to get your guys's feedback on the tejid cam was it a little bit too fast for you guys are you okay with that speed um i generally like i said i i go around at this speed that is at the absolute slowest in fact what i could probably do to avoid myself zooming uh, every once in a while <laughs> maybe it's just a tad too slow by default Maybe I could up it by a couple points and then then that would be my regular speed Yeah, let me let me know I like to get some feedback on that because if it improves the pacing of the show uh, That will definitely help going forward But I've ultimately settled on doing this once in a while zoom 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 and then walking around at this speed And I think this is a nice speed overall So I'd like to get some feedback on here as well as your thoughts about this multi intamin launch coaster down in the comments below for Chet B once again shout out to to chat for supporting the show through the patreon program and uh getting this priority spotlight if you guys would like to support the show as well links to my patreon are down in the description below and uh right now we have a whole bunch of patreon submissions that we're working through and i definitely want to uh try to prioritize those for now and then we'll get back to the regular program okay that's gonna do it for me in today's episode of uh, coaster spotlight almost said park uh, thank you all so much for watching and i hope you all have a wonderful day bye now